Hi everybody, welcome back to Between the Lines. My name is Julian, I'm an obsessive reader and news book collector, and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do these once a week. I said in my previous weekly-ish update video that I was gonna try to do these once a week, maybe every two, and it's looking like it's gonna be every two. <laughs> Last week I just didn't have anything really to add to my previous update, I was still reading Eye of the World at the time, and just had nothing new to offer you guys, so that's why I'm doing this this week, uh, but let's just get into it and I'll tell you what I've been reading and what I'm going to be reading soon. So let's get right into it. In my last update video, I said I was reading The Eye of the World and really enjoying it. And as of a few days ago, I did finish the book. I'm not gonna talk about it too much today because I'm planning to do a review video that I wanna put out in time for the show. But for now, I'll just say that I really, really enjoyed the book. I'm totally hooked on this series now, and I can't wait to get into book two, The Great Hunt, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm reading some other stuff right now. I find that if I read too much of a single series or too much of the same thing, one after the other, I get burnt out and then I won't want to read the next installment. So I really don't want that to happen with me for the Wheel of Time. So I'm reading a couple other things and I'll get back to The Great Hunt hopefully and finish it in time for when the episodes for that book come out. I think they come out mid-December or something like that, so I should have time. And I also think The Great Hunt is a bit shorter than The Eye of the World, so it won't take me as long to read. The Eye of the World took me about like, I think 11 or 12 days, which is long for me. It went by in a blur for me. Maybe that's just because I was reading it <laughs> so much every day. But I really loved reading the book and going on that ride and learning about the world of the Wheel of Time. And while I was reading The Eye of the World, I was listening to the Wheel Weaves podcast where they would kind of recap and discuss every chapter. I think they did about one chapter per episode of the podcast. So there's a lot of episodes that I listened to in the past week. Some episodes I think they did two, but for the most part it was one for one. And I really enjoyed it. They were super funny and super insightful into what was going on in the book and really pointed out a couple things that I definitely missed on my own. And the format that they do where they have one of the hosts who's an expert in the series and one of them who is reading The Wheel of Time for the first time really helped me get into it and to come into it with that spoiler free free uh, newbie perspective uh, that they were sharing as well. And I accomplished my goal. I finished the Eye of the World in time for the show coming out with a few days to spare. I'm pretty excited for this show. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't too hyped about it in the last few months. I wasn't super impressed by what the trailers were showing, but now that I've read the first book and kind of know what's going on a little with this story, I'm excited to see how it's gonna be adapted. And the last trailer that came out was really good and uh, really impressed me way more than the previous uh, marketing things that came out. So Friday night, I'll be there watching the first three episodes of the show like so many of you. So after finishing The Eye of the World and spending so much time with it, I wanted to do something a lot shorter that I could kind of complete in a day or two. And one of my goals for 2021 was to finish the original Foundation trilogy. I had read the first book, I think way back in 2018, and finally got books two and three for my birthday this year. But it has been so long since I read the first book that I didn't really remember what happened. And I remember being kind of like, okay on the book. It was pretty cool, some interesting ideas, but nothing that really stood out to me. So to prepare for reading books two and three, I found that the library had the 1970s audio drama that the BBC recorded of the whole Foundation series. So I listened to the section that just adapted the first book to kind of recap and reorient me into what happened in that story so I can you know, better understand what's gonna happen in two and three. And it was pretty good. It was really cozy. You know, it had some old timey sci-fi effects and it was a little cheesy, but I enjoyed it overall. I think it was about like three hours in length for the first book. And it made me really remember that I actually enjoyed this story <laughs> more than I remember it. I thought it was pretty cool. There's some interesting ideas. And it really had that style of the Asimov problem solving storytelling that I really liked about iRobot. I kind of forgot what the stories were about in this one until going through this audio drama again, but I enjoyed it overall and I'm excited to get into books two and three and I'll probably read those either in this month or December. So what am I reading right now? Well, I'm reading Cold Days, book 14 of The Dresden Files and I love The Dresden Files. They're, they're so good, they're so cozy and I just love returning to this series after reading a bunch of other stuff. It's like coming home 
to return to this world and the characters that I've grown to love over the course of, I guess, 14 books now. It doesn't feel like I've read, you know, almost 14 books in this series. It's gone by so fast. I've read most of them except for the first book in 2021, and I'm absolutely burning through this one. I think I've been listening to the audiobook now for about a day and a half, and I've just crossed the 50% uh, mark, which is way different from how I approach Ghost Story. That one took me two weeks to finish the audiobook, and it wasn't even as long as this one. I don't know what it was. Ghost Story just didn't, you know, sit well with me. Ghost Story, I think, had a really interesting hook, and the first hour of the audiobook, especially coming off of the crazy ending of Changes, really got me invested into it, but I feel like after they set up that hook, they kind of abandoned that in favor of telling a different story. And I thought the pacing in that one was really slow. It felt kind of aimless at times, and there was a lot of wheel spinning in the middle of the story, feeling like they were rehashing certain things over and over again and not really progressing the story forward from what it promised in the opening scenes. Overall, you know, it was a Dresden book, so I enjoyed it in the end, but maybe that was just a hectic time in my life and I may have been distracted probably by the different audiobook narrator who brought a different, you know, tone and flavor to the book that was different from what I was used to. But in Cold Days, the original narrator is back and I'm just flying through it and it feels like a return to form for the Dresden Files, more of what I was expecting uh, going forward after changes. So much of that world was shaken by the events of book 12, so it was nice to kind of get back into step and a little bit back into routine for the Dresden Files. Ghost Story felt like it was picking up a lot of pieces from that and it had a big job to do, and you know, overall it did a good job of that, but I just felt like the way it was executed, you know, could have been a bit better and felt like a diversion from the way the Dresden Files has been going. So I know I'm kind of messing with the order here, but I think once I finish Cold Days, I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of the first uh, short story collection from the Dresden Files. I feel like if I go right into Skin Game, I might feel that burnout like I was afraid of when talking about the Wheel of Time. So I'm gonna go into the short story collection and it's a lot shorter, so I'll probably go through it in a couple days as well. And then maybe do Foundation 2 or 3 or flip back and forth between Dresden and then read The Great Hunt in time for the episodes coming out that are adapted from that story. And I think I have time to squeeze in another Agatha Christie book before the end of the year. I've been meaning to read The Murder of Roger Ackroyd uh, for a while now. I've read the Poirot books that have been adapted into the biggest movies and now I wanted to get more into the books that people have said are the best ones and this one has popped up a lot. I've gone through these books pretty quickly as well so it won't take me much time but it feels like I'm squeezing a lot into the remaining few weeks of 2021. I probably won't get to Peace Talks and Battleground, the newest two books of the Dresden Files by the end of the year but you know I'm reading to enjoy these stories and I'm not trying to rush through them too hard. You know I like being invested in these characters in these worlds and you know we're here on both booktube to read and enjoy the books, not necessarily to tick them off a list for some arbitrary purpose. All right, so now to talk about some other stuff I've got going on in terms of, you know, different media like video games, movies, TV shows. Um, I don't play too many video games anymore, but occasionally I'll drop into one and get hooked on it for a little bit. Right now I'm playing a lot of the uh, Formula One game. I'm a big Formula One fan, and now that the season is winding down to the last few races, I'm feeling that kind of you know, sadness that the season's gonna be over. So I've been playing the game quite a bit the last few days to make up for that. And in terms of TV shows, I'm not watching anything right now because I'm saving room for the Wheel of Time show. And as a new fan, I'm so excited to be a part of this huge experience that everybody's gonna go through. I can't imagine what it's like for people who have been reading this series for years to finally get an adaptation, but I'm so happy that you're all able to experience that and that I can experience at least a little part of that too. I'm also curious to check out the Cowboy Bebop show that's coming out, I think the same day as the Wheel of Time. I'm probably save that for another week or two and I'm kind of gonna base that on what the reviews are saying. I really liked the anime. I don't watch a whole lot of anime. I've only seen maybe as many as I can count on one hand but out of the ones I have seen Cowboy Bebop was incredible and amazing and people are a little you know cautious about this adaptation as well and I'll kind of wait a little bit and if it's getting a good reception I'll check it out because you know I was just such a fan of the original material. All right so that's it for now. There's not too much going on on, you know in my life this is as much as I could recap from the last two weeks or so but look out for my eye of the world review coming out soon and I'll hopefully be talking about the show as well so leave a comment below letting me know what you've been up to if you've been reading anything good or picked up any new books or been watching any shows and let me know if you're excited for the wheel of time show or if you're a bit more cautious about it so remember to do all the YouTube stuff like liking and subscribing leaving a comment thank you for watching please remember to support your local library and I'll see you next time